Hi guys, bit of an experiment today. Um, I'm going to do something very similar to my uh, Makume Bokeh technique that I do, uh, but we're going to use a pattern uh, saw. Uh, all will become apparent. I'm going to just go and get some Cernit metallic silver uh, conditioned. I'm using some metallic pearl as well, uh, just so I've got a contrasting colours and obviously Cernit Translucent. Uh, not a great deal guys, just enough for um, maybe four or five two inch squares uh, and this needs to stay in a block so that we can push a texture in it. You're going to need some sort of texture mat that leaves holes when you take a slice off or you could just roll some thin and use a ball tool as I've shown you before to poke holes in and something to poke the end of a pencil whatever something to poke a few impressions in that's all we're going to need I shall go and get this conditioned up and ready and I'll see you in a sec hi guys okay so I've got my silver and my pearlescent uh, and what I've done is I've just conditioned it enough um, to get it workable and then I've stacked it so that I've just got a block of it a bit easier to work with and slice with and I've got five squares of translucent um, to play with just put them to one side right what I'm going to do first guys is let me just give this a little roll so it's flat on top I'm just going to push my texture mat into the these two pieces like so same with this one like so and then using my sharp blade uh, let me just move this one a little bit first I'm just going to start taking pieces off the top like this just so that I've got some slices there may be some bits that haven't got holes in guys I'm not going to worry about that at the minute I'm just going to get myself some shavings to layer up I can add some more holes if I need to and I'm just gonna go along like this shave in then I'm gonna go back in with my texture mat to the same piece in fact I'm just gonna give it a roll while I do it it doesn't matter you get your texture in there guys just get some texture in and I'm just gonna keep doing this until I've got enough slithers that will cover um, my pieces of clay. Uh, I'm not going to film all that. You you can get what I'm doing now. I'm just repeating, pushing the pattern in and taking some slithers off. Um, I'll just move that while I show you. If you have got a couple of pieces that haven't got holes through all the way just take your ball tool or again do this with flat clay just take your ball tool I could possibly do with a bigger ball tool than this guys just take your ball tool and poke some holes back through so you want quite holy pieces or textured pieces uh, you know so you can see the translucent through so I'll just go and do some slithers get my pieces all ready and then we'll come back and layer up so I'll come back when that's done guys because I don't want to sit here for 10 minutes boring you with it I'll just cut some more slithers off and I'll come back when they're done see you in a minute okay guys I've got all my slithers here I've got more than enough I think for what I need just let me pick a tool up just to move this slither over there a second 
Right, so I've got one piece of translucent here. Uh, I've put my translucent on a two setting, by the way, guys. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pick a pearl up. Smooth that down. And a bit of silver up. Let them overlap. Leave some blanks. Just going to pat that down gently into the clay just to make sure there's no uh, bubbles of course with the translucent but it's fixed then I'm going to take a piece of my translucent and as we would with Makume I'm just going to lay that over just gently now we are probably going to get some trapped air guys because of the bubbles so I'm just going to very gently starting from the center roll over with my um, acrylic roller just to see if it will help to force some air out if there's any trapped and I'm just going to keep doing repeating this guys uh, I'm just going to alternate the sides so I'll put silver over on this side just get that flattened down and as I said guys you are probably going to get some air trapped in this hopefully with how we work it we can get it to um, sort itself out just by being gentle I'll just get that pressed down get another piece of translucent gently pop it down and working out from the middle just smooth it and then again working out from the middle I'll just give it a, a slight firm press let's get that edge there and we're just going to keep layering up like this guys pearl on one side silver on the other I really hope this looks like it looks in my head if that makes sense because I think um, it'll just be something a little bit different very organic I'm actually thinking that it might look really cool with black and silver uh, but I thought I'd use some pearl uh, I'll leave that bit for the top I think because it was two pieces I patched and again I'm not making a massive block of this guys um, just a small block I just gently roll that so I can try and keep her to a minimum and last one let's pick a good one uh, I think I'll break a bit of this one off just with my blade make this a bit smaller uh, yeah pearl on this side now isn't it let's pop that down oh just pressing it firmly and I've got a lovely bit of silver here that I got a really good swipe of and I'll just let overlay that and the good thing about this is there's no waste really because your colours can go back in the packets let me just pick those little bits up that are hanging around guys and I don't accidentally get them stuck to me like I'm doing okay and now our last piece of translucent and again I'm just being gentle to try and make sure I've not got any air trapped within there and I'll just oh I'll give it a little roll again give it a little squish and 
and then all I'm going to do is with wherever it's gone there it is I'm not going to put a great deal of pattern in this guys now you could put you know use whatever you want you could put your you know your tool through and just get some simple lines couldn't you but I'm just going to do some holes and I may add another when I have another go which I undoubtedly will I may uh, try slices I may try not pushing this back together um, but I'm just going to do a my usual poke some holes in squish it back together let me just grab my blocks guys uh, my square pair things my hands have not been the best for a couple of days I've been having a little rest I'm just going to flip this because I'm aware that the bottom isn't rolling with the top Let's give it a firm press and get those back together. Got a bit of an air bubble there, I'll sort that in a sec. Pin. I really, I, I literally haven't even done a trial of this, guys. I just thought, oh my god. One of those lay in bed at night things, trying to think of ideas. I make notes on my phone and stuff, and it just I, it just popped in my head. I was going to do another Makume Bokeh, and then this popped in my head. Okay, so I am going to let that sit, guys, because it is quite warm in here today. I've got my heater on. Um, Doris is fast asleep at the side of me because the heat is on and there is a little bit of air trapped in there but I'm not going to stress about it I may just go through and pop some of these uh, which I knew there was going to be air trapped in it guys just because of the nature of what we've done uh, with the layers um, but I'm hoping when we're working with it we can get most of that out uh, right I'm just going to let this sit a minute guys just let it cool down a bit on my glass mat I'll have a little clean up when we come back um, we'll cut into this and um, do something with it keep your fingers crossed see you in a minute hi guys okay moment of truth let's give this a slice I'm just going to give it a little roll first guys because I've noticed it's um, a bit uneven and I just want to make sure I get a nice even slice there we go so let's oh interesting and let's give this another slice okay so I've got three pieces there I really don't know how this is going to turn out guys it looks cool uh, there are some air uh, pockets in that I can see uh, can you see so I'm hoping that if we roll this it will get rid of some of those let me just get my four mil uh, four and a half mil guides yeah so that's not a problem guys when you roll it it um, gets rid of the little holes for you and I'm gonna go down to three I want to keep these pendants or you know whatever it is I'm making relatively thin then we get the translucency as well so I'll just roll it this way now and make sure that's blended in I 
yeah and doing that taking it down a couple of notches has really uh, helped with the um, the little air pockets that were trapped so now then what do I want to make I'm thinking maybe a nice pendant with some matching earrings so I've got this out and the little baby one of it um, so if I do that there what I want to do is make sure I catch some pearl and some of the silver in the earring so even though they're not perfectly matched um, they will uh, I've just got a bit of rubber glove here guys that I've cut up I'm just making sure I've got the right side because one side is a little bit bobbly and the other side is um, smooth okay I've just got a ripple in that let me just smooth that ripple out okay so trying to not waste any of this let's cut that out let's give it a little wiggle and then I'll cut my earrings out and as I've said I want to make sure I catch a bit of um, both of the pearl and the silver so I'll just cut that one there and I'll cut that one here so I'm catching a bit of everything and I've not got a massive dome on these guys just a nice dome and I think these would make nice beads as well just with that speckle running through so I may do that with the scraps oh I've just not caught quite caught that edge there I wasn't have pressed hard enough let me just take that away with my nail okay I'm just going to get one of my uh, silver salt things to pop these on where's my other one I pop the earrings on as well okay oh does help when you shut the drawer cap right let's get these picked up And again just being gentle don't get any fingerprints on I'll just take those little crumbs off the side and I'll worry about anything else later when I'm finishing but let's just make sure that's tidy now I haven't put a backing on these guys as I said I want them to stay as smooth as possible and of course um, if I'm just careful placing this down I might not trap any air in the back but I could always sand it a little bit or similar just run my nail around that edge make sure it's nice and smooth and I have positioned this up a little bit far but it won't matter guys um, so there's our pendant and I'll pop our oh earrings on here seem to have caught that with something as I've put it down so it's got a dimple in I'm just gonna I'll sort that one out in a sec guys let me just pick this up it's got a little bit distorted clean those edges off and I'm going to pop it across like so let me grab a bit of paper I'm just going to smooth this over guys I don't know if it was um, with the cutter or what, what but I seem to have just got a little dimple in the middle so I just want to make sure that that's nice and smooth in fact I'm just going to take it back off I may have to re-trim these guys let me just pop them side by side I'll just give them a little smoother with my finger get that ripple out
there we go and I'll recut these guys without putting something over get that scrap away that's better so we just um not quite smooth for my liking there we go they look better now just gonna smooth my finger over that edge oh, I cut my nails way too short guys and I can't pick anything up that'll teach me won't it just smooth that edge like so let's get these picked up around that edge Let's just smooth it off pop that down on there same with this one it's not too crummy pop that one across there give it a little smooth go around with my nail just make sure that shapes nice while they're on there okay there is a little bit of crummage on one of them but this is quite soft and I don't want to mess with it too much so I'm just gonna rub that piece of paper over make sure I have no fingerprints and we will go and pop these in the oven I don't know what to do with my other bits I think I'll just bake these guys first see how this turns out um, and then if I do anything else with them with the other two pieces here um, I'll just put some photos at the beginning but let's do these and just finish these off shall we we just give that a little burnish there we go right I'll pop these in the oven and we'll see what they look like when we come out see you in a minute okay guys we're out the oven and oh my god I don't think you're gonna pick the depth up properly until I've um, buffed these but it looks amazing so much so that I'm going to do another one straight after with copper so that's the pendant and earrings you saw me make with the scraps I just rolled one out and did this with the uh, leftovers and with the major leftovers I did this and I added some little pieces again they're just samples guys so they look a bit rough but um, I'm really liking the effects of this really liking it so I'm just gonna buff these up I'm not gonna worry about these scraps guys uh, just so you can have a look at the depth in them when they're buffed and then expect another video <laughs> straight after using a different color <laughs> Um, so I'll go and buff them up and I'll be back in a sec okay guys I have give them a really quick buff um, but I'm loving it it's almost created a mica shift inside so you get depth of color within the silver and the pearl there's quite a bit of placking guys um, I think uh, you can't see it through the front but there is some trapped I've noticed so I think in my next batch once I've put the um, holy piece down 
um, I will roll that over to try and get it as flat as possible before I put my um, translucent over it um, but the depth guys is amazing I'm not sh really not sure you're gonna make it out um, but yeah I'm going to go and have a play with some different colors I think I may use copper and pearl in the next one uh, so yeah watch out for the next video as well guys because I will um, maybe tweak it a little bit just so I can be careful of the placking as I've said you can't really see it from the front it's in the bottom layers uh, where the placking is but there we go and I've been trying to think of a name for it so I googled what Japanese for hole was and it's Anna how nice so I'm going to call it Mukume Anna um, just give it a different name so people can remember it uh, so there we go guys something a bit different again you know I love experimenting and trying to come up with different ways to do things um, so yeah I'll leave that there guys I shall see you in the next video which will probably be this um, see you later bye